Now, new research predicts the world's population will reach 9 billion by the end of this century. That sounds like a lot. It is a lot. But it's around 2 billion below previous UN forecasts. And these recalculations are being driven by falling birth rates. The studies by the University of Washington, it predicts there will be economic, political and social consequences. The fertility rate is the average number of children a woman gives birth to. Its decline is driven predominantly by social reasons. More women in education and work and greater access to contraception are all factors. The predictions list 23 nations, including Spain, Thailand, Italy and Japan, which are expected to see their populations halved by 2100 uh, and 183 countries who will have a fertility rate below the replacement level. Sub-Saharan Africa will not follow this trend. It's predicted it'll triple its population. That's connected to falling death rates and the number, the rising number of women of childbearing age. And if we focus on Nigeria, it's already Africa's most populous country. It's now on course to become the second most populous country in the world. The study also predicts a major shift in the way that age is distributed throughout the world's population. Over 80s are set to outnumber under fives by a factor of two to one. Here's Naomi Grimley with more analysis on this. That has massive implications for all countries which are going to go through this when it comes to economic policies, because, of course, their uh, percentage of the population of working age will fall. That will then have a knock-on effect on their tax burdens. And on top of that, as we've heard, the number of octogenarians in society will dramatically rise. So countries are going to have to think really hard about how they provide for long-term care for the elderly. Uh, lots of countries are going to face this, some much more dramatically than others. So to give you the, the figures for Japan, the population will go down from 128 million to 53 million. And in terms of those countries that are powering ahead, you mentioned Nigeria. That will uh, be catapulted up the league table of the world's most populous nations to number two. So massive implications for geopolitics there when we're thinking of where the balance of power will lie by the end of the century. Well, certainly environmentalists have worried over time about overpopulation. And as you mentioned, these figures are significant because they suggest that population levels will peak much earlier than the UN has previously thought. Uh, and so by the end of the, uh, of the century, it'll be 2 billion less than UN figures. Uh, but, of course, that will then mean that we'll have to think a lot more as human beings about how we do things like, uh, you know, get migration, get immigrants into, po uh, into countries in order to uh, get economies moving. And so we could see m really big shifts in uh, the way that people migrate across the world.